so guys it's this phonic here and welcome back to my channel if you are new here please feel free to subscribe otherwise in today's video i want to show you guys how you can master your song right to an apple studio using only ozone 8 and i'll leave a link down on the description so that you guys can go uh, download the plugin uh please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the video leave a comment throw some love and let me know what you guys think about the video and also uh please share the video otherwise let's get into it all right cool so now we're here in fl studio the first thing to do is to loop your song um, at a section where there's a lot of sounds playing together this is to give ozone 8 enough sounds to work around with in order to master the song and before proceeding make sure that your song is peaking below negative six or at least plus or minus negative six the furthest you can go is negative five decibels so let's play our song now and see if it's really picking at negative five decibels Okay, we've had the song, it's roughly peaking at negative 5 decibels, so I think that's good to go. We are good to go now. Just go to your master uh, your master track. This is where you load in plugins to master your song. Then select Ozone 8. Um, I'm going to show you two ways um, on how you can do this. We go to master assistant and then there's a streaming way and then there's a reference way. So let's start with the streaming way. Select streaming and then click next gonna say waiting for you to play the audio but i'm gonna lower down the volume because whilst we proceed with the process it does a lot you know um, as it's working it distorts the sound it picks up the song and all of that so it's i, I don't recommend that um, you hear it's not safe to the ear so let's just take down the volume and then press play so as you can see, the assistant is working, analyzing the audio, it's setting equalizer to adjust spectral balance, it's analyzing dynamic range, you know, it's doing all of this. And I prefer this if you're a beginner because you do not need to know a lot of music theory because Ozone 8 takes care of that. Um, let's wait for it to finish. And then click accept. All right, um, now we're gonna take down i'm um, gonna take the volume up and then carefully listen to the mastered version um, via ozone 8 master assistant and then we're gonna be able to judge whether we are happy with the results or not if we are not then there's a way we can tweak around the knobs there and there or the faders so let's play <laughs> I think I'm happy with the results that we have, but um, if you are not, most of the times um, you are not satisfied with the compression. It's because sometimes this uh, preset compresses the sound too much. So what you just need to do is just to take up the thresholds frequency and then press play because the sound, the kick especially becomes um too compressed and too squashed usually this is when you didn't mix your song well but you don't have to go back to the mixing stage and all of that um it's better to just lift up the threshold i don't know why it sets the ceiling to negative one decibels but i'm guessing that's the standard um, um loudness level for other music services you know apple uh, requires its own uh, standard of loudness you know radio play requires its own standard of loudness but i'm not gonna get into that but i usually set my ceiling to zero decibels so let's take it up there and proceed All right, that's the first way. And then the second way we can do this is through adding a reference track. To do that, we're gonna go to reference, add reference, and I'm gonna use galactic note. Um, basically this method, um, the way it works is it 
analyzes a track that is already mastered and copies the mastering that was done onto it and it applies it onto the track that you are busy working on now so if you have a track on your pc maybe a song by black coffee or the capo or godfathers um, and you like the mastering which was made there you can add that as a reference track and then ozone will copy the uh, the mastering that is done there and paste it onto the song that you're working on so um, after your reference track is added it will bring up regions just like that it's best to select the region where there's a lot of things happening so for me i selected a you can select c as well but let's go with a and then go to master assistant and go to a reference as you can see the title of the song is there then click next now it's going to say waiting for you to play the audio and then i'm going to take down the volume because i don't want to hear um, the unevenness as it's busy working and then i'm just going to press play now as you can see it's doing the same thing it's analyzing your song trying to achieve balance where there's lack um, you know it's setting eqs it's analyzing the dynamic range um, it's doing a lot of things uh, let's just wait for it to finish All right, now it's done. We're just gonna click accept and then we're gonna take up the volume and then listen to the result. If we are not happy, then we're gonna tweak it because I also wanna show you how you can tweak um, this to get desirable results. Let's press play. As you can hear now, the kicks are too squashed. They sound blurry and too muddy because there's a lot of compression done there. But no worries, what we're going to do is just lift the threshold um, up a bit. As you can see, our compression is fine now. I think I'm also happy with the ceiling level. It's at negative 0.3 decibels. So what Ozone did is it analyzed the song that we... Um, submitted as a reference track and it analyzed where most of the sounds are peaking and it's found it to be negative 0 0.3 decibels which is fine but um zero decibels will also do but don't go beyond that um yeah i think that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from the video if you did please do leave a like leave a comment throw some love let me know what you guys um think about the video uh, that's it. I'll catch you on my next one. Cheers.